Hello, so in this video, we will learn how to install a custom YAML file onto an ESP Home device for Home Assistant. So the device that we are targeting today is uh, uh, the Muse Lux by Raspi Audio. We are Raspi Audio. If you don't know this yet, um, this is it. Um, it looks like a normal Bluetooth speaker, but inside you have a ESP32, so you could integrate it easily uh, in Home Assistant. It's available on Amazon. The sound, it sounds good. Um, all right, so no more. So first thing, you need to have ESP Home installed. So you go in settings in Home Assistant, you click on settings, add-ons, and you just type in ESP Home and you install it. After a few minutes, you will have this installed and you click here on Open Web UI. Open Web UI, then create a new device. Uh, Continue. You name a device. Here I will call it my my Lux. You select the type of ESP32. So you just select the first one, ESP32. Um, it's a good idea to copy the secret key. I will just paste it here. Yeah. Um, but I will click on skip for now. And here is your device, my Lux, and you click on edit now. And this is a YAML. The YAML is um, some kind of configuration file where you have all the configuration of your device. So we are going to take a YAML let's say you, you found on the internet on or on some forums online just for the example i'm taking this yaml copy paste save and install then uh, you have many different methods to to download uh, the files that will be generated uh, on your device, I will select manual download. Okay, so now it's compiling. It's gonna take like maybe a few minutes, maybe a couple of minutes. So I will pause. Okay, two minutes later. Um, so it's success, and then you click on factory format. Uh, basically, it will make one single bin file, binary file. Okay, it's already done. It's here. So, yeah, so you need to go on uh, this URL, web.esphome.io. I will put the link in the description. And you click on connect. And if you have connected uh, your Muselux using your USB-C cable, it should be detected as a COM port here, yeah, you see, on COM 146, and you click on connect. And Bluetooth. Yeah, it's rebooting. Um, and then I think I need to click on install. Yeah, and I need to choose a file. I need to click in enregistrer. So it's in French. So save. And then, yeah, it is. So I choose a file and I click on install. So now it's connecting, raising the flash.
And I think it's going to take like maybe like two minutes again. Once more. All right. Uh, it's finished. Yeah, it's done. So. So one more thing to do maybe is try to configure the Wi-Fi. So you click on the little, three little dots here and click configure my Wi-Fi. Then you will see your networks. You will enter your Wi-Fi password. I will, so I will connect. So no, this is trying to connect to my office. Wi-Fi, yeah, it worked, great, close. So now if you come back to Home Assistant, you go in device here, you have this new device that appeared, and just click on add, yes. Yeah, something happened. Maybe you can hear it and you select an area, bedroom. So if I go back in uh, settings, device, ESP home. No, it's not here. It's unique look to click on here on the four device. Yeah, and you could see that this one is online because there is a battery level showing all right and if i push on the button you can see it's activating um and then you could use a wake world like a jarvis or something well i think it found the wake world because it's moving Hey Jarvis, what time is it? 6.55 p.m. Hey Jarvis, what time is it? 6.55 p.m. Okay. Then you have a voice assistant, but I will not dig into this right now because it's too long and that will be for another video. And I think actually I already made a video about it. <laughs> So thank you. Bye-bye. Subscribe.